Melissa to the show. After several toxic relationships with cheating men, Melissa was ecstatic to meet her boyfriend, Rick. You see, in the beginning, Melissa shared with Rick the pain that she had experienced. And she prayed that he would be different because guess what? Other men didn't treat her well. It was at that moment that Rick revealed a secret, that he had been on The Mari Show with his last girlfriend. Last girlfriend Gretchen for a lie detector test. Take a look at Rick's last appearance. One woman gave him a really large tip for dropping her off. Yeah. And then he ended up and spent the night with her. How do you know that? I've also what? caught him on dating sites. Yeah, what's the story there? He went on date with them, said he never slept with them. What was in the glove compartment of his cat? There's condoms in the glove compartment. I work 18 hours a day. I pay the bills. She goes out and accuses me of cheating. Rick, I've had phone calls. Remember when that lady called and sat there and told me that you slept with her on the Dude, phone? You got text messages on your phone from a girl and your necklace was in her bed. During your relationship with Gretchen, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> During your relationship, I will rip your dog. With Gretchen, have you had sexual intercourse with any of the women you drove in your taxi? You said no, that was a lie. Okay, by the way, Rick's not a taxi cab driver anymore. Rick is a professional pool player. But apparently, as a professional pool player, he has a lot of female fans. Yes, he does, Mario. And Melissa, what, is he, what do they call him? Tricky Ricky. <laughs> What's so tricky about him? Okay, when you go see him play, are there women around him? They are all flocked to him. Oh, Ricky, it's great to see you. Oh, oh, your stroke is so good. Or you hit those balls really hard. Oh, yeah. That was so great. And he just stands there and he laughs and he, he laughs. flirts back. And I was standing there and like, I'm right here, hello. So Rick knew about your past relationships. I told him I've been hurt, three separate relationships, hurt really, really bad. He told me, he promised me that he wouldn't hurt me, right. that he was a changed man. Okay, what did you find in his pocket? I found a girl's phone number. Oh. I, I asked him who it was. He said it was a girl from his job. She makes great cheesecakes and pies. I cheesecake, baby. I said, well, why, why do you need her phone number? Oh, in case I wanted to make Good me a birthday. pie or a cheesecake. He knows that I bake. What did you find on Facebook? That he had checked into a... Oh. Yeah, club? yes, yeah. he checked into a strip club that's right down the street from his job. You found a condom in a shoebox? Yes, in his shoebox. Yeah. He keeps, like, important papers in his shoebox. So he goes in there frequently, but there was a condom hidden in that. This is what Rick had to say. Last time I was on the Maury show, yeah, I admit it, I got caught cheating. But I'm not that guy anymore. I'm a professional pool player. Melissa thinks I'm cheating on her when I go out of town for tournaments. Yeah, I have female fans, and they call me Tricky Ricky. One day, Melissa found another woman's number in my pocket. It belonged to a woman I worked with. She made a delicious cheesecake. She tells me she even makes better pies, and I love pies. Apple pie, cream pie, and I love me some blueberry pie. I come home from work one day, and Melissa is furious. She's claiming that I checked in on Facebook at some gentleman's club. I was not at a gentleman's club. I was at work. Melissa was cheated on in the past. I need to prove to Melissa that I love her. Maury, please help me. Why, right, Rick, that's why we're here. Welcome, Rick, everybody. You were embarrassed before. I love her. So therefore, that's why you're here, yep. to prove your innocence. Prove I'm a changed man. So you're playing a lot of pool. Yeah, I'm a professional are pool you, player. Are you winning? Yeah, I'm winning. <laughs> and your fans call you Tricky Ricky. Tricky Ricky. They call me Slick Rick. They call me whatever they want. Why do they call you Tricky Ricky? What you do you have? She thinks you're cheating when you're playing these pool tournaments. Yeah, she thinks I'm cheating, but I'm not. You know those girls they they like you. You, you didn't cheat like you. They all like me because I'm good. That's it. No, they sit there and they play with you. They talk about they how you, you hit the they balls are perfect. 
sex joke. You're perfect for it. Well, I'm an instructor. They want to show So the number that she found in your pocket was from a woman at work. She made a cheese. Yeah, but why did you get that? Listen, you know I'm going to be. She made a cheesecake, and I tried it. I was like, mmm, this is delicious. Oh, it was mine. Okay, Melissa. You're gonna, you're gonna look me in the face when you were asked, were you at the gentleman's club the day your Facebook accidentally checked you in? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, yeah! Woo! You were asked when Melissa found a condom in your shoebox, were you intending to use it to have sex or intercourse? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Woo! Did you have sex or intercourse with a woman you work with who makes pies? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the Woo! truth. Yeah, I told you, baby. Yeah, I told you, baby. Woo! You're asked during your relationship with Melissa, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Woo!